Messed that up. So, so that again. Let's just pretend we do that again. If we were to ask you what the most overused word was, what would you say? Well, according <laughs> to one newspaper, it is apparently, and I'm using apparently liberally, uh, like that some of us really um, overuse and people object to it. Uh, one programme, which you will be aware of, currently on our screens, a like has been known to have been used a whopping 76 times within just five minutes. That is, of course, the magic that is Love Island. Uh, so a primary school in Bradford is asking pupils to park the word and broaden their vocabularies. Uh, so, what do you use as your sentence fillers? You can email us at bbcbreakfast at bbc.co.uk or share your thoughts uh, on our Facebook page. Find us on Twitter as well. Oh, you can tweet us about the stories as well. And we've had lots of other people, other people getting in touch saying that there are other words that particularly annoy them, including look, um, absolutely, uh, basically, uh, literally, I could go on. I don't like the word park. Can you park that? Can that you park me? that yeah. thought? I used to work with somebody who always used to say, uh, should we... Can we bottom this one out? Just, just, just to drive. I don't know why. Just to drive um, me wild. Zena, yeah, Z she's going contact and say she hates the word grandkids. Uh, they're not billy goats. They are grandchildren. I often change the word kids to children. I don't, I, I don't mind kids. Why? What's wrong with calling them kids? Like she says. Well, uh, Tony thinks you know should be banned. Right. Yeah. I or think, you know uh, what I mean. Yes. I used to uh, say that when I was. Joyce teenager. gets very agitated when uh, people. <laughs> When people refer to a group of people as guys. Guys, call other people guys. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. I normally say hi, gang. Drives people nuts. And uh, finally, Kim <laughs> thinks the word amazing is overused. Thank you so much for getting in touch, everybody. I'm running a little survey as well. I'm not quite sure how the survey's going so far, but... Um... Well, overwhelmingly, like was detested earlier on, yes, wasn't it? Yes, it was about nearly 50%. But your... Uh, your I was going to say kids, your children... Yeah, thank you. Uh, they went through... Teenagers, a, They went through, it, yes... A, a, a like phase, didn't they? But they have, for those of you who are... Moved you, on. Yeah, you, those of you who are worried that your kids will never stop saying like 4,000 times every sentence, they've, they've gone through the like phase. And what they've tried to do in this primary school is park, I know you don't like it, yeah. that word, and also um, answers to a sentence which are like... <laughs> I just said like, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> nice! Just one word answers to questions. Yeah. They've tried to ban that as well. The other thing that's shone through this morning is how agitated we all get at what other people say. <laughs> Yeah, it? thank you very much for that. Yes, excellent. Um, don't forget, we've got our Andy Murray interview coming up a little bit later on. And we're also going to do a programme, uh, talk about a programme called Adolf Island, which I can always tell when you like something, because when you come in in the morning, the first thing you talked about was this programme, yes. which... G give us a What's brief that? synopsis of this programme. Um, it basically talks about... <laughs> those words again, so... More myself, everybody. <laughs> It is a programme which is about Alderney and what happened uh, during occupation, Nazi occupation on Alderney, and they've looked at, tried to find out exactly what happened, and there were mm. camps there, um, how many people have, might have died, and they've used really new technology to kind of look beneath the ground to find out what happened. And we'll be speaking to the person who made that programme. Also, in the next hour of the programme, we've got uh, James Pebbly coming up. Uh, at 10 past 8. He is uh, one of the big supporters of Boris Johnson in the Conservative leadership debate. And Michael Gove is going to be with us at 8.30 this morning. Lots to look forward to right now. Let's get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you are.